Hey, welcome back everyone to Super Mario Omega. Gonna be doing the Gemto Hills now. Um, I remember last video I was talking about uh, several things. And um, I guess I did go to the big thing at my hospital with my mom and other people's loved ones. And it was very fun. Um, except for the people crying. And I didn't cry. Um, but it was very nice. Um, did a lot of like looking around and they had a bunch of pictures of my mom and other people's um, loved ones and there was a lot of food, a lot of punch, a lot of everything and there's actually chicken there too, uh, good hospital food for once. Um, I don't know why I need this switchboard, um, probably don't need it. Anyway, um, so yeah it was, it was worth going and uh, it was fun and and kind of sad at the same time, obviously. And so that's that. Um, got past it. And I just lost the power up in such a dumb way. Oh, and also I remember uh, I was talking about having the urge to play Super Mario Bros. 3, and I mentioned that uh, Super Mario All Stars on the Super Nintendo. Well, um, uh, I actually went and. I didn't download the ROM or anything. Was this a? Uh, I didn't download the ROM or play it on an emulator, but I went to my living room like uh, a couple days ago, and uh, and I played the game. And sorry, I'm kind of like my train of thoughts like messed up right now. I don't know why. And I mean, okay. Anyway, um. I I played the game and I sucked at it because I'm so used to using save states now. Like I I purposely die sometimes. I don't know why. It feels like I purposely die. And I got like three game overs. That game was really hard. Like without the save states, so it was always a hard game to me. And um, but I eventually got used to it. I learned. I forgot that it's all trial and error, like if you're not using save states. Like, you can go through these levels like a thousand times, and, and like, uh, I'm, I'm sure you guys all know this. Like, you gotta, I forgot about it, like, I started using save states when I played these Mario hacks, but you gotta go through the level like, like several times. You gotta get used to it, you'll know everything that pops up and be able to avoid it. But when you're using safe, safe states, it doesn't really matter. It's like, oh, if you die, just load the safe state. Who cares? But that, but safe states, that takes a different kind of skill. Like, like uh, sometimes it doesn't matter. Like the challenge in these Mario hacks isn't, uh, isn't oh, get past the level without dying. Like a lot of the challenge in these Mario hacks are like puzzles. Like, like uh, you gotta find the P switch or, to get to the springboard or. You know, vice versa, or you have to like some of the levels are really uh, messed up, and you gotta find um, the right. You gotta find like uh, your, your way through the level. It's not just like a linear. Damn it! It's not like a linear level. Like oh, go to the right, and you'll eventually run if you get past all the enemies. Anyway, um, I played Mario 3 and Super Mario Bros. 3. And it was fun, minus all the dying. And, uh, it's kind of funny, like, I played it on my Super Nintendo in my living room. God damn it. And that Super Nintendo has been sitting there in the same spot for over 20 years. Before, even before I was born. I'm 19, if you're wondering. And that thing's been the, in the same spot since before I was born. And I have another Super Nintendo in my basement that's been sitting in the same spot too for over 20 years and on top of that I have a NES right next to that oh shit I have an NES right next to that Super Nintendo that's been there even longer it's been there since we like moved in like I'm not even sure when we moved in like it was during the, uh, the mid to late 80s when we moved into this, into this townhouse and um kinda it's kind of weird that we haven't uh, take, put that into storage yet. But I kind of find it classic to have a 
NES, uh, still sitting in my basement. But yeah, that's pretty cool. And there's a lot of lag. That's not cool. Stop. Alright, I'm back, uh, ran into a major lag problem, and I had to restart my computer, and start the program up again, and here we go. Um, forgot what I was talking about, um, oh, uh, yeah, so I played, uh, played on my Super Nintendo, uh, Super Mario All-Stars, and I was able to, am I supposed to spin gem up there? Um, and I played, I guess not. Uh, oh, maybe I do have to. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I see. I see. And I played all those games. Uh, I actually played uh, some Super Mario, um, the original, on that remake, the Super Mario All-Stars, and damn it. Um, anyway. Oh, what I was saying about my old Nintendo. Um, yeah, it's been, sitting in the, it's been sitting in the same spot for over... As long as... As long as we've lived here, since like the mid to late 80s, I'm not sure I wasn't born yet when we moved in, but yeah, it's pretty cool that that's been there, same spot for all those years. But anyway, um, getting a lot of snow right now. I live in uh, a Chicago suburb called Elmhurst, and we've gotten like a lot of inches, inches of snow. I'm not sure how much, but uh, I don't pay attention to all that stuff. But but it's so bad that I opened my uh, front door and I almost blew away. Like I, a whole like uh, shitload of snow blew in my face. I'm like damn. I actually had a drive in it today. Um, not when it was as bad as it is right now, but um, it's pretty bad. And uh, if I were still in high school, I'd be happy because um, there's gonna be a snow day for like all Chicago schools tomorrow right here. And um, but I'm not in high school anymore, so I don't get to really enjoy it. So it's gonna suck uh, for me. I don't really get anything out of it, but uh, being stuck in my house all day, and can't really go out and drive because nothing. To, like there's really nothing to do, and if I want to go out with my friends, I can't drive. And it's way too snowy out, and I'm not sure how much time I have left for this video because uh, I had to do it. I had to end the recording start my computer, so I'll play like another level, hopefully, and yeah, that sucks with the snow. Is that a pyramid? It looks like a ghost, pyramid ghost house. Oh, is this Donkey Kong music? People are so obsessed with Donkey Kong that do these hacks, like, there's this one hack where, uh, it's like a whole level dedicated to a Donkey Kong Country 2 level. It actually uses the cannons, um, the cannon sprites are in that level, and, and you gotta, like, blast yourself through all these, like, past all these vines. It's one of those vine levels, or, I'm not sure what they're called, but it's a special name for those vines, but, but, uh, that was pretty cool. That's one guy's hack, and he has a lot of cool other hacks and, that I've played. I haven't beaten them yet, but I'm playing them in, my me in the meantime, between these games, but, um, so, uh, I got another subscriber the other day. I don't think it was from the Mario hacks, but, uh, I think it was some on my friends list on PlayStation, but, um, I just really need subscribers. I only have 23 days, um, left of this, for this, uh, Camtasia trial, and, uh, I'm really hoping I can get, uh, some faithful subscribers that actually watch my stuff, and not just somebody from my friends list, or, you know, well, was I supposed to get a power-up? Oh, here it is. And hopefully if I get enough people to like my videos, oh, I want that so bad. If I get enough people to like my videos and watch them, then damn it, I lost the thing. Then I'll possibly buy the, the program for $50, and what I got a one up. So that's, that story, that's my story with that, and like, uh, my Nintendo has been sitting in the same spot since we moved in, and yeah, that's my story for all that stuff. And when we come back, we're gonna do the island ruins. See you guys then.